Hello Leo, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm going to do your January 2024 monthly tarot reading and prediction. Let's see what's happening for you, who is coming. Keep an open mind. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Book a personal reading, everything is given. Reach out to me on my email address. Follow me on Instagram, link is given below. Let's go, Leo. January 2024, what's happening for you? What's coming next for you in this month? What's happening for you, guys? Seven of Cups, Reverse. King of Wands. That's you. Two of Pentacles. What is that? The Moon, Reverse. You are self-sabotaging your own happiness. You could be even restricting yourself to keeping your options open or keeping your options open or maybe trying to try different thing you could be very stubborn right now or you are guys by nature like that uh, because you're a fixed sign so you want the things in your own way okay you want the things obviously in your own way but something is not working so it's like you're also not changing your ways there's something about you you really need to trust your own inner guidance and keep your mind open or see at the bigger picture but it's look like you're having a difficult time to get insight on it look deep within yourself that the answers that you're looking for because you're still juggling about something. You're still not sure about something. There's also some type of a truth coming to you or something is going to reveal to you or you need to trust your own intuition or gut, gut feelings, but you're not doing it. You're not seeing it, basically. You don't have that insight. Hmm, let's see. The star. Can't show you the card. The moon and star. Okay, so some of you, you could be hiding your feelings from someone. You have a crush on someone. You like someone, but you're not telling them. You're thinking about, should I, should I not? Or there is someone who has a crush on you. They like you, but it's like they're keeping it secret. They don't, they're not telling you. They're having a crush on you. They like you. Um, the tower. Ooh. Seven of Swords. Yeah, it's looked like you're sabotaging your own happiness. This tower should be with the Seven of Swords and the tower. It should be, it should be, okay, the tower and the Seven of Swords. It's like, are you self-sabotaging your own happiness? Are you wasting your time on something or someone that you know you're not going to receive something from that? You're not going to get something there. The death card. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. You're wasting your time, Leo, on someone or something. It's it's dead. You are you are giving the water to the dead plants. Two of Swords, and you're not understanding why it's not working because you keep sabotaging your own happiness. Why you're not opening your eyes? It's too late. Why you're wasting your time? Why you're still waiting? You are expecting someone to come towards you when it's over, it's finished. This relationship is over, it's finished. Or some of you, this is about a situation ship. You know the foundation of this relationship because we have the tower, two people are falling out. You know this person with the seven of swords is not being honest with you. They're not telling you about their feelings. They're, they're juggling you. They're not sure about you. But it's look like you're still willing to wait for that person. You're like, okay, I have to wait. They will, they will choose me. I have to wait. Maybe they will choose me. Maybe they, they will change their mind. If this is not you, Leo, this is someone else. But mostly I'm picking up from you because with the King of Wands, you are present in your reading. This is you. You are present in your reading. It's time to be strong because bottom of the deck, we have the strength and that's you, Leo. Look at this, this infinity symbol and we have this infinity symbol. You always, you, you, you have been dealing with this for a long time. This could be an unfinished business between you and someone else. There's something unfinished between you and this person. You think there's something like between you and this person is unfinished. It's not over. It's not over. That's why you're waiting or this person is still out there. You know, the other side is waiting for you. They think it's not over. 
They think maybe you will change your, your mind. They think that you will come back to them. They think you will, they're waiting and they're invested in you still. With the two of swords, even with this doubt and no clarity, like even though if you will come back or not. Or maybe you don't see this person coming. Or you don't see them, they're waiting for you there. I don't know, Who, whoever this person is, their other side is waiting for you. The thing is still like you will come back to them. With the tower and death, it's over, it's finished. This, is, this, this looks like a breakup or separation. This looks like something need to release between you and this person. There's something you both need to have a conversation with the seven of swords and the strength card. It's like they are running away from you. They're escaping from it. They don't want to face it, but they're waiting. And it's like you are also waiting for them. So who will make a first move? Who will confess? Who will confront this? Who? Who will do that? Because you're sitting down here and this person is al already waiting there. Like they're waiting for you to come out of this phase and, and tell them the truth with the moon card and seven of cups. They're not even looking for other options. They're willing to wait for you. Even though it's going to take months or years. They are, I think, be being there for you. You could be even intuitively, psychically connected with each other right now. This is a very like ongoing situation for a long time between you and this person. But it's look like you're ignoring it, these signs from the universe, they're ignoring it too. But they're out there, they're waiting. They're waiting for you, maybe you will come and they're, you will like, no, you should come. So the ego is playing the role here in this connection. It's like you're really restricting yourself to like, no, I'm not gonna open up, I'm not gonna make a move, I'm not gonna tell them, I'm not gonna do that. And they're also doing the same way. It's like you're mirroring each other. The star, Leo and Aquarius exit, this could be your seventh house. Okay, Aquarius, this person could be, some of you, this person could be in a public eye, or they're popular, they're very attractive, they have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of, you know, like options, but it's look like they are not interested in anyone. They're restraining themselves, they're restricting, like, no, I'm not interested in anyone. They're waiting for you, whoever this is. Now, another thing here is that some of you, the Leos, it's not about relationship, it's about you, you are in, in your own way, or self-sabotaging yourself and keep juggling, not understanding how to do it with the star card. It's like you want to do it. It's like your wish fulfillment. You can change your own life. You just need to be bold and courage and, and strong enough to make a move, to do something. You have to keep your options open. You have to look at the bigger picture. You need to maybe explore things and, and don't wait here like the opportunity will come with the seven of pentacles. No, you have to make it happen. You have to take action. But it's look like with the two of pentacles, you're not. Your life is right now in balance. Leo, what I'm feeling, by the way. But there is some type of a wish fulfillment here. There is some type of a healing here. Um, you could be healing from or recovering from some type of a heartbreak, separation. You could be even coming out of a relationship, a marriage maybe. For some of you, it's a divorce or separation um, that you're really still recovering with the Seven of Cups. Reverses look like you're not looking for options. You're not looking for love right now. You don't have a love time for now, love right now because you're really invested in you with the strength and the... Uh, in the star card, you're really making yourself more, it's like giving this self-love to yourself, you're healing. But at the same time, there could be someone who has a crush on you or they like you, they admire you. This could be even someone that does not have to be that much serious. This is someone who never had a chance to tell you how do they feel. And the tower and the death card, it's like something between you and this person happened. And the seven of swords, there's some type of uh, unfinished business here, like, but this person is still keep the eye on you. They watch you from afar. Are they still out there maybe waiting for you, but they don't know how to approach you, how to reach out to you? Because it's been a long time that you're not in a contact with. Or, or you just got in your, it's like in a separate ways. So how to come back? How to undone that? How to go back to that situation? That's what this person is thinking. They maybe have eyes on you. They could be watching you from afar. They're admiring you from afar. This looks like a secret admirer or someone has a crush on you. They like you. Uh, you're taming the beast here. This is also someone who could be um, very, very physically drawn to you. They're very physically attracted to you. Or you find them, maybe. Leo, this is your energy. You find them very physically attractive and appealing. But it looks like you're having a difficult time to open up to your feelings with them. It's like you're willing to wait. Or you don't know how to do it, how to fix it. Now, with the star card, this person could live far away from you. There's a distance between you and this person. But there's also some sense of healing going on here from the past. Recovering from the past, breakup, separation, trauma, something about lost. 
Okay, I'm feeling red flag. So this could be someone, you're seeing them as a red flag. Are you dealing with a red flag? But it's look like you are blinded to this red flag. You're not seeing that this person is a red flag. Or this person maybe tell you that you're a red flag. There's something about red flag. And you know this is a term these days because maybe this person's think that you're a red flag or you are attractive, you're charming, but you're a red flag. Or you maybe see them, this person is a red flag. There's something about, I don't know. Or maybe you're having a difficult time to see someone is a red flag. And you're just keep willing to wait and invest it in this person still. Some of you, I'm also feeling you could be quitting a job or you need to quit something because there is some type of uh, imbalance here. Uh, in your physical activities or life. There's also something about your finances, financial thing, like you really need to control it. There could be unexpected expenses coming to you. You're not seeing it, but it will happen. Now, some of you, this is about you need to definitely control this to overspending or oversharing something. Yeah, I'm also feeling there's something that you need to change in yourself, transform. It's a habit about dealing with money and finances. Could be quitting a job. Some of you, there's a transformation here. You could be quitting a job. Are you quitting something? Judgment and the fool card. Yeah, it's time to let it go. It's time to move forward. It's time to go, 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 go. You, some of you, you could be moving one place to another. It's a big shift happening. Physically, you could be moving one place to another. Even could be even mentally. Like you could be leaving something and you're starting for a new chapter. It's a new chapter. There's a new chapter starting. There's a lot of major arcana in your reading. You could be dealing with Aries, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Aries. Could be Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Yeah. Now we have the Judgment and Fool card. Yeah, this could be some of you. This is, looks like either this is you or them. Someone is definitely, you don't see them coming. You will be surprised like someone wants to reconcile with you. This could be someone from your past. Either it's something like never started between you and this person. Now this person wants to give this a chance because you both, it's like right now you both are ready for something like a new chapter, a new beginning. This looks like a reconciliation or a reunion, but it's not like, it's like you know them or they know you or there's something between you and this person when you met them in the past, you both were not ready or one of you were going through something. Now both are you ready. It's like, this is like a divine timing connecting you together. It's the right time to be together, right? That type of energy. I'm seeing travel involved here. I'm also seeing something long distance. I'm also seeing something about um, someone maybe going to confess to you. It's like a divinely guided. It's a very spiritual connection. Some of you, you are going on some type of a holy places. Could be pilgrim. You're definitely going to visit some type of a holy place. It's about healing. It's about recovery. Also like wish coming true. Could be moving into... Um, into a dream country, like you always wanted to be there, you always wished for this this place, this country, and you're moving there. There's some type of a wish coming true, but also about like freeing yourself from something that's toxic. It's like a starting a new chapter, leaving the past forever, self-indulgence. Yeah, some of you, you definitely need to understand your self-worth um, and value. It's time to heal, shadow work. There's something, yeah, it's time to let the past go. Yeah, some of you, you're still chained and addicted. Look at this healing heart, I told you. Either this is you, or either this is someone else. If you're not, if this is not you, you're still chained to that person. You're still having a difficult time to let them go. You're addicted and obsessed with them, and you're still willing to wait and invest it, even though you know that it's a red flag. It's not good. You have to move forward. And others of you, this is someone else out there, other side, waiting for you. They're obsessed with you. They can't let you go. Maybe they want to heal the situation. They want to fix. They want to reunite. But at the end of the day, this is going to up to you. Yeah, paradise. The mask, yeah, and there's some type of a deceit, deception here. Someone is going to reveal their true colors to you with the moon card reverse, like something like a truth is coming out. You don't see that coming, you don't maybe sense it. This could be when a honeymoon phase, like some type of a romantic connection is about to start. Someone is feeling, oh, snake. You could be even dealing with a snake. There's a temptation here, by the way. Yeah, some of you dealing with a snake. It's a toxic relationship. You need to let it go. You're addictive and obsessed with a snake. You know that you're, you're, you're feeding the snake. It's time to let it go. It's time to release. Open your eyes. It's a mask going to reveal. 
to you. Someone is going to open up to you. Their feelings are expressing it. Um, but there's also maybe someone has a crush on you or secret admirer is there. They're hiding it. They're keeping it secret. They could be, there's a temptation here too. Like so this person sees you. There's other woman involved here though. Yeah, there's some type of a truth is coming out about someone. Snake is also sometimes talk about narcissism. So some of you, you're dealing with a narcissist, a toxic person. Uh, this is someone who is a temptation to you. So there's something about red flag. I don't know, or snake. You know who I'm talking about, right? So if you don't know it, this is not your story. This is not your reading. Hmm. There's a new chapter or someone has a crush on you. Someone has a like, um, uh, someone likes you or you will meet someone new if you will let this snake go or this, this past person go. It's not easy. It's not, it's toxic. Something need to let go. Something start to all over again in your life, like a new chapter. I'm going to see you later. Bye.